the one thing that is essential that is required in anything of a virtuous nature to create anything of substance is the one thing that many people lack, and that's patience. You know, patience isn't even a virtue. It's a necessity, man. You know, if you don't have patience, then you're not going to be able to commit yourself to something substantial and create something, you know, worthy of withstanding the test of time. You know, you're just going to be doing more of what everybody else is doing. Just get the easy grab, the quick fix, get yours or die trying. And that's what this world is filling up with, sadly. But I see a collapse happening soon. You can see this is going to come to an end at some point. So therefore, you know, inevitably and eventually this will reach its terminus. And it will be very ugly. But this is the awakening that people need to realize that, you know, you need to just be in control of yourselves. To where everything is being guided towards is a very horrible place for the large and a very good place for the, for the few. And that's it's that way by design. So people really need to start embracing old world values and the old school way of things man take your time have patience relax chill out things don't have to be done in a microsecond you know they can't even sit still anymore nobody writes hand letters anymore they don't have time they call it snail mail for a reason because they want you to equate it with something that takes too long it's all subliminal programming brothers and sisters ladies and gentlemen boys and girls it's the truth you know, and then you equate that with something that's real. So you don't have time to even attribute that to being anything of a significant value for you to connect your energy to it. So therefore, you don't make any space in your life for it. And they do this to you continuously. That's why you don't have patience. And you just can't sit still. Everything has to be instant gratification. You know, a disposable society. And that's why nobody has any semblance of what actual creation is all they're just looking for is to just make money online you know affiliate marketing programs or whatever quick fix or some sort of scheme money making scheme that can profit them monetarily and it's just sad to see the world fall into disarray like this it really is human beings weren't meant to be finite creatures experiencing limited you know realities that's not the intent of god that's why the farther away from source, the more degraded the connectivity and receptivity until you have 100%, you know, latency, man. You have nothing. There's no connection left. You have to connect with yourself. You know, I see it all the time. The moment something isn't exactly the way it's supposed to be, people pop a cork and lose their stuff quick. Watch on the parkway. As soon as there's like a little traffic backup, you see people's phony, disingenuous, cool nature go to who they really are impatient angry aggressive you know that's the real situation like for example alcohol is the greatest inhibition remover if you want to see somebody who they really are see them when they're drunk because they don't have inhibitions anymore so they're actually showing you who they are without the metaphorical mask in place and the facade and the carousel and the masquerade and the you know all of the the, the, the show and the display that's all gone consider that a continuous freudian slip seriously so if you want to see somebody's true nature, that's you'll see them when they're inebriated. But unfortunately, people around, they, they walk around with metaphorical masks and it causes them to be disingenuous. And from that space of disingenuous transmissions, that's what you're going to receive. So that's what your whole world is going to be comprised of. Just a bunch of experiences that are phony, you know, fortifying and reinforcing the very source of the transmission, which is you, unfortunately. So... That's why I say patience is more than a virtue. You, you need to take time to build things. And if you don't start with yourself, then you're just an empty shell, a dead vessel, you know, hollow. You, you're just an ephemeral being, a transient soul, just, just drifting, you know, with the, with the sole purpose of just serving yourself. And this world is just loading up with those types of creatures. And we don't need more of that stuff. That's why the premise of my channel is to get you to realize in yourself that you have the power to be something completely different than what you have been programmed to believe yourself to be, and that's all there is, because that's just not true. That whole operating system is just blatant prevarication. You know, I mean, I take my time to do these videos for a reason, because I have an ability to do something, so therefore I have a responsibility to do something, and I'm responsible and committed 
to conveying these messages from the divine through me to you in the hopes that you can get something beneficial that helps you, that is conducive to the forward, progressive, developmental, evolutionary journey of your own, you know, exploration and discovery of yourself. That's really why I do what I do. But what is the harm in slowing down concentration, focus, attention span, patience? It's just out the window. It's all instant gratification, the quick fix. You know, once your awareness goes to something, your attention goes there, and the newness of it grabs you in, the novelty wears off, the newness is gone, you lose interest, you're onto something else. And, and monitor and see how fast you do this. You know, and find out inside yourself why it is you, you continuously find yourself gravitating towards specific types of energies, like pornography or, you know, all of that stuff about, you know, gold diggers and Lamborghinis and things like this. That's all inconsequential, frivolous, meaningless, useless nonsense that's only going to serve to reinforce the experiences that you receive that cause you to exist in the vacuum that you do. That's all by design. That's why you're disconnected from spirit and you're connected to something that's unholy. You know, it's just God forsaken and there's no righteousness in it. There's no love or compassion in that thing, man. It's a machine. It only knows two things, domination and control. And, you know, and that's total, unilateral. There's no forgiveness there. It's just merciless and God forsaken. So this video is designed to make you realize that you're plugged into something that's unhealthy and it's unwise to remain there. That's why so many people don't have faith in themselves anymore because they're solely dependent on a system that tells them what to do because they can't think for themselves. That's why people look at their phones because they're looking for the next, you know, directions or support or guidance or whatnot. And it isn't fair to them to be putting themselves through that because they don't realize that they have the potential and the capacity to bypass that system, plug into themselves to something higher and create things that will just blow your mind. But instead they choose the easy way out Creature comforts, material trappings, the comfort zone. It's a sad situation to see the world fall into such emotional decay and to such spiritual detritus and sepsis and disease. But unfortunately, that is the situation that we have here before us, ladies and gentlemen. It isn't that it cannot be rectified. It's just that people don't have the ability in themselves because they haven't been trained to realize how to rectify the situation. So that's why we see more of the same. I just wanted to share these... Um, these messages with you in the hopes that it can help you somehow. God bless.